And yeah, we have one gallon of unleaded gasoline just purchased yesterday. Uh, we're going to apply one gallon of gas to a concrete slab similar to what you'd find at a service station, a gasoline station. There are some uh, pits in the concrete here similar to what you'd find anywhere else, uh, so we will have a chance to puddle in some of those. Getting flow downward. This is exactly one gallon of gas. We have our uh, portable spill control product here. Uh, Got a super concentrate cleaner in there. We're going to apply this in a sufficient amount to their little uh, mediate the gasoline here. Notice how it aerates it, creating bubbles. What that does is make these bugs just work even, even better. You need to cover the whole steel completely. You got areas that are puddled, make sure it's covered up real good. You can already detect that the uh, uh, fumes from the gasoline are uh, dissipating and it's not strong anymore. So you just utilize possibly about half of the, the, jet, or the uh, container here. We will take some LEL readings. You can see the in, the in the suds area there. You can see that the, the you see the bugs moving. They're, they're like bubbling. You see the uh, that's what the bugs are doing. They're eating the hydrocarbons. Right now we're only showing the LELs at eight parts per million. Even in this puddled area down here, we're not we're not getting any readings above eight. I believe the gasoline explosive limits is like 14 or something like that. Getting no alarms at all. That's well below the explosive limits of gasoline. See this area here, you see it looks like little explosions. What that is, is the bugs eating um, the hydrocarbons in the fuel. Look at the, look at the meter here, you'll see we, when you see the bugs still working, you're going to get hydrocarbon readings. You're not going to get LEL readings. Oscars, just only where you see the bugs working still.
we reapply it there, you can see the bugs start working again. This is the water mist uh, sprayer. We also have another one we're going to try here in a little bit to see if uh, how it works. It'll be a foam cappuccino nozzle. But actually, the more air it gets, the better off it is. the uh, flammability test. We're getting no flare-ups at all. And as a matter of fact, if you look and see what the heat's doing, it's making these bugs work even faster. Approximately 15 minutes since we've applied this. Now we're going to take and see if the hydrocarbons are still present. Zero readings on hydrocarbons. Still getting zero readings. Stopping at all these puddle areas. detection device it detects the presence in small minute parts so they detect that there's an accelerant used to start a fire we're getting zero readings in the entire area here would sound if you would uh, have detection of any hydrocarbons or the needle would move and everything's green reading zero all the way out. So our claim that uh, uh, the hydrocarbons will be uh, mediated is true. There is no hydrocarbons left. This concludes our test for the day.